Uh, is this gonna be something that we have to deal with every single summer, every single year on YouTube? YouTube rappers beefing? <sighs> Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. Subscribe if you're new here and you like what you see at the end of the video. But I'm assuming a lot of people are not gonna like what they see. Cause what they're seeing is me talking about how YouTube rap beef is fucking trash. And that's normally the opposite opinion of what you see on this platform. There is a very distinct reason as to why I rarely react to YouTube rappers. And it's because of shit like this. I had to wake up today at 2 p.m. and realize that all of a sudden there's a new beef between Screw and then this fucking other guy, uh, fucking Luke Gon or whatever his name is. And when I see shit like this, all I can help but think is that this is just clickbait shit while people are in quarantine just to get their sides pandering toward each other and then like go at a beef and then the beef is gonna die and then we're gonna go at the next YouTube rapper. Or there's not gonna be any YouTube rappers to go against so then we're gonna go back to fucking going at quote unquote mumble rappers. And if you saw my Tom McDonald video, you already know that I don't really like the premise of the premise that there needs to be death to mumble rap. Mumble rap doesn't really even exist anymore in my personal opinion. It did in like 2016, 2017, but because of that mumble rap in 2016 and 2017, we saw a resurgence. We saw a resurgence of lyricism. This whole YouTube rapper network of beef that goes on, that shit is just mad corny. What are y'all really even beefing about? That someone exposed someone who exposed someone of something else and like your bro was, go was like, got talked shit to, so now you gotta go put 16 bars on a fucking video video and then push it out there so that person can respond and y'all can all get clicks together. It just all seems so fucking petty. And the worst part about it is a lot of a lot of the YouTube rappers have literal talent to rap, but this pettiness and just falling down this fucking cyclical nature of beef once a year in the summertime, that's never gonna get you taken serious as an artist outside of YouTube. And the beef doesn't even really fucking matter because at the end of the day, subscriber base number one who is beefing with subscriber base number two, no, nobody's mind is gonna get get changed. Nobody's gonna be like, e, you know what? He got him. Nah, you're gonna have your fucking, the blind leading the blind on both sides and no, no, no compromise, nothing's ever gonna happen. All this YouTube rap beef shit does, at least for me personally, is put a bad taste in my mouth for YouTube rappers and fucks with my vibes. We've been vibing so fucking solid here on YouTube. We're putting out consistent videos. Everything's all happy go lucky. We're fucking being critical of uh, fucking whenever we need to be critical, like the Tom McDonald. By the way, Luke Gon's fucking death to mumble rap track, fucking trash. I heard it and I was like, this ain't even worth my fucking time. What is the difference between mumble rap and fucking chopper fucking AK-47 rap if I can't understand either one? Oh, people are gonna say fast rap takes technical skill where mumble rap doesn't. So fucking what? If you're not saying something with your technical fast rap skill or you're saying the same shit that you've said for the last four or five years and you keep pandering to the same audience about death to mumble rap, eventually it doesn't mean anything. And it seems like a lot of YouTube rappers use that technical skill as a crutch as opposed to being able to switch the flow. And that ends up being just as bad as mumble rap. It's like people saw Eminem getting all the fucking hate for changing his whole rhyme style to fast spit and crazy rhyme schemes and crazy bars. And then they're like, oh, you know what? He's getting a lot of criticism for that. Let me go do that same exact fucking thing, but not have the Eminem Marshall Mathers name behind me. But even without that, I'm just so fucking tired of the, oh, I, this person was supposed to jump on the track with me and they didn't. So I'm gonna diss them and then that person's gonna diss me back and then they're gonna bring in the homeboys And then the homeboys were just gonna all fucking hurricane of disses and then doesn't even matter after fucking this week And I went on and checked out certain people's channels to see what were their most popular tracks And a lot of the most popular tracks are the diss tracks Why can't your most popular track be something original? People should care less about your fucking diss tracks Yeah, they're gonna get fucking clicks But they should care just as much if not more so about your original content your original songs. It's one of the things that I said about Dax when I first did that video about Dax is that most of his most popular songs, they were just remixes of an already popular song or they were just a take on somebody else's track. And that's the same feeling that I have about all fucking YouTube rap. So in my mind, I look at these artists and I see, oh, their most popular tracks are the diss tracks or a take on somebody else's track. And for me as a consumer, that's not a good fucking look. To me, both of those two things mean clickbait, clickbait, and can't come up with original content that can be a hit on its own. It's possible to be a, a really good, a really talented rapper, but not able to make a hit. So stop wasting your fucking time on these shitty YouTube beefs own your fucking craft and get a little bit of respect outside of this platform. Because to me, one of the things that characterizes 
a YouTube rapper is the fact that most of your most viral videos and songs are not of your own creation. Sure, diss tracks are your own creation, but you have a specific target that you're going at versus just coming up with some fucking hit out of thin air in your own mind. And because of the lack of original creation versus the blow up nature of YouTube disses, that's what makes the platform seem less legitimate. That's what makes YouTube rappers seem less legitimate, as well as the fucking pandering to your core audience and your core demographic. So for anybody that was wanting me to react to these YouTube disses, you're fucking watching the reaction right now because there's no fucking way those videos are going on my channel. And that's really all that I got to say on the matter. Stop beefing with each other because the shit is just silly. Like it's not even corny. I feel like corny is like a, a step up from fucking being silly. And I'm not saying that the beef isn't real. Y'all might actually have angst and animosity toward each other, but fix that shit in the background. Work on your fucking craft of being original and having originality and level up the fucking perception of YouTube rap. Because these beefs that, you're, that are going on right now, this is the reason why YouTube rap has the negative connotation that it does. This is why YouTube rapper is even a fucking term. You're proving everybody's point with these disses. But that's all that I got to say on this matter. Next video, we're going back to reactions and breakdowns. But this is all the energy that I'm willing to give to this situation. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos and certain people need to take fucking note, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.